split the bark, slide the bark down in with well, the sawing wood, the stick, down into the bark. And tape it up, seal it with that light balsam, that green stuff I showed you, and uh, it heals over. The only problem with this is that you have to support it, hence the bamboo and the sticks, because it will blow out for up to three years. Afterwards, it's, they all grow together. Some people say remove one, remove all of them except one. And I got an example over there. If you do that, what happens? But uh, keep them all in there, they'll grow together. Here's what happens if you uh, remove them all except one. Except one, oh, wow. the whole side of the tree rots out. Wow. Wow. Right. So if it's not feeding it, it will rot out. If it's not feeding it, it will rot out. And you can already see the boar galleys in this one. Yeah, they're doing a number, huh? This they're doing a number. Much longer to live. Yeah, they ain't got much longer to live. <laughs> That's the reason this tree is here, and I'll let it, I'll let it grow. Is that a um, sucker? Uh, sucker. Sucker. It's a sucker. Come off of this one. And you will graft onto the sucker? Oh, it's already grafted. I anticipated it fairly. So I grafted under this one last year. Wow. Well, no. In this June. Year. In June. This, in June. June. this yeah. all this growth from one year. Yeah, that's all from this year. Now notice you do your grafts way high. I do. Is that because of the deer? Not because of the deer. Clear for me. Clear for me. Ask them if, yep. <laughs> if, I've, if I've got like three silent grafts going there. to the rootstock like that, that's what we're going to do. One of them too. Would you uh -huh. go over the edge over there and try to put another one over there? I absolutely have I don't. Uh, there's the there's small trees I do, persimmon and pawpaw, small trees I do, but when I'm out here, it's all it's all bark grafting. Yeah. Is there a rule of thumb on the diameter of the graft? If you get bigger than four inches, it's hard to get takes. Well, I was going to say if it's bigger than four inches, where just one won't feed the whole thing? Right. Right. I was going to say, is it stick to the stuff? About, you, know, inch? you want to put a graft in about every two inches. Of diameter? Of diameter. Okay. Right. You usually graft in June, you say? June, yeah. Late May, June. Yeah. Yes, sir. You may have said something I wondered about. The little tree that's on this row that's just beautiful orange fruit on it, they're not ready. They're very uniform. It's only about six feet that's an old deer. That's Cassandra. Oh, it is? Yep. That's Cassandra. Oh, okay. The fruit is smaller this year, and we don't know why. The fruit is generally smaller in all the trees this year. Did you have a drought in the spring? Well, I had a huge drought, and I had a drought this fall. Yeah, we did. We had a huge drought in the spring, and then August was pretty dry. So maybe that's why the fruit's small. You see, Bob, you know, sir. I do, sir. Yeah, it is. Hey, it's just, it's a gorgeous tree. This one? Yeah. It is. And that's this is Cassandra. Cassandra. None of my Cassandra's took. Really? GTO2 took, NDO2 took, but Cassandra never takes. I'm going to have plenty of sign wood, so I'll get you some more. I had someone reach out and wanted 500 to 700 grafts of GTO2. Well, want, want sign wood of it? No grass. Grafted yeah. trees. Oh, it's wow. Oh, happen. boy, man. No, it ain't going to happen. I, I, the only way. You, you got all the sign wood. <laughs> where, where, where are the trees you like it, don't you? <laughs> well, you start now. <laughs> Order the sign wood. I have one tree of it, and it's this Oh, that was right. <laughs> so, Cliff, is this a hybrid? Okay. Yes, sir, it is. Mm -hmm. Let me show it. No, no, you can't eat that. Yeah, I thought the color was in the, the indicative of being right. Mr. Cliff, can I take a picture with, of you with the tree? Sure. <laughs>
So what's the history of this tree? Uh, it's a cross of... Uh... Here, just smile for a second. Just smile. <laughs> There you go. Uh, it's a cross of Great Wall with a Rosianca male. So when that gets firm and done, that looks like, it kind of visually, looks like a proc. Yeah, the fruit shape does, but it's rated as one of the best tasting fruits in North America. Cool. Seminal wise. Cool. Yeah. This one's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> How many know what twig girdlers are? Yeah, I have one. Yeah. You have one. I'll show you some evidence down here. Yeah. So are you working on any new males? Uh, no. Okay. My goodness, look at the size of that fruit. Yeah, it's enormous. This is actually a, a Ukrainian hybrid. It's called Mount Roman Kosh. And then the insect does this right here. It's called a twig girdler. Yeah, it actually cut off complete limbs up to about the size of your thumb. And all it is, it's a beetle about that long and about that wide, and it takes small bites forever. <laughs> Some people call it hickory girdler, I think, don't they? Yeah. Let me get another one. They cut off the eyes where their eggs are. I burned them when they cut off. Searching for the eggs. Yeah, oh yeah, I know where they're at. <laughs> yeah, the eggs are right, right there in that little hole. Oh wow! And you can see them. Oh yeah, you can see them. It's in a real tiny hole. What are we looking? Yeah. At? Oh, that little tiny. That. Here, let me turn it. Let me turn it. That yep, little that tiny. Little, that little leaf. tiny hole. Huh. So they go right below the leaf. All right, roll the leaf bud and lay an egg. And here's a bigger one. You can actually see the scar a little bigger. Yeah. And then after they lay the stem full of eggs, they cut it off and it falls to the ground. Which you need to, you need to burn them, don't you? Yeah. It looks like you might have a dead persimmon some way that way. A dead persimmon eater. Yeah. That's the one thing we don't like to see on cattle farm. I have the keys. It's probably a deer.